Hey everybody, welcome back to Good Time Hauler Homestead. Uh, my little sidekick over here, Jara, is going to be helping me install a solar powered automatic chicken coop door. <laughs> finally decided to break down and get one so that way we can get these chickens out and in at a timely manner um, so you can tell they're making lots of noise over here today for us so we have a regular door that we already have had in our chicken coop for quite some time now but this one is like tamper proof when it comes to raccoons and we've had issues we've had issues with raccoons many times before um, and our coop has been kind of destroyed by the chickens so keep in mind we're fixing all of that later but for now we're gonna change the chicken coop door so this is our regular door and the coop itself is like the door itself that we just got is like this much of that space so we're gonna measure across to make sure we can close in this hole with a new piece of board and then we'll get to cutting and installing on the other piece <laughs> ordered it's from alderman chicken coop door it's automatic it has a remote a solar panel which also has the option to plug into an indoor uh usb cable charger where's the remote mm -hmm. the remote's in the house i don't need it out here and then it came with some screws with mm -hmm. some rubber washers and it's supposed to be weatherproof um for the most part i mean i it guess it, it said like if it gets extremely cold out it probably won't work or obviously if ice accumulates over it it's not going to open and shut properly but um in other cases it should work just fine so what i'm gonna do is we have this random piece of board here and uh i've opened up the door so that i can draw the inside and that's what we're going to cut out of the actual door and then I'm going to measure the size that I need on the outside to um, cover the old door. drill piece to be able to put my drill bit in so what I'm gonna do is use our matrix and just pop the saw off and put the drill piece back on that I was out of frame at this point, but all I'm doing is cutting the inside of the door frame out so that the chickens can walk through it. All right, so now we have our piece and we have the middle 
hole cut. It took me a minute because that's the first time I've ever done that. So <laughs> I've seen it done, but I've not actually done it. And <clears throat> my saw did not go quite to my holes, so I had to go over it just a little bit more. I flipped it over and went a little further on the backside. And uh, yeah, it actually turned out pretty good. So now I'm gonna place this and make sure it fits right over the hole. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna screw this on and then we're gonna close it up and take it over to the chicken coop and uh, attach it to the ch chicken coop door. Hope got in there. All right, got the solar panel plugged back in. Jarrah's gonna close it and then we're gonna carry it over and attach it to the coop. Press the gray button, there you go. Leave it alone, don't touch it again. Good job. And it has a safety feature so it closes to train the chickens, goes up a little and then it'll close fully after a little bit. All right, there we go. We have ourselves a door on a door to go over a door. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this over here to the chicken coop. Hopefully, um, it'll fit just right and the door will open just right. I might have to fix um, a little bit of the fencing above the door because this one opens up and the other one opened out, but I have to do some fencing work anyway um, because our pigs got out of their fence and broke into the chicken's fence because they they wanted the chicken's food so we got the pigs put back where they go and we're working on fixing up this coop so what better way than to add a fancy new door for our beautiful Chickens. beautiful little ladies huh i guess we have two two males in there too so, so beautiful little our ladies. beautiful chickens <laughs> okay so i measured um, to go a little over an inch around this whole door and I'm gonna have to take the screws out and I'm gonna have to take this out and this is what I was talking about I might have to fix the fencing I need to clean it out anyway since it's catching some uh, leaves for us but I might have to uh, raise this just a little bit so that that door can raise up but I won't know until we get the wall put on And now, you know, we have to fix a bunch of other stuff. This needs new little stairs for the chickens and needs to be leveled back up because the pigs went underneath it and ripped it off the wall. Um, here right now, Jared, watch out so they can see. We put a board here because the pigs broke through the chicken wire. And so I have to replace the chicken wire across the bottom right there. Um, and then they did the same thing there and they broke our door that slides in and out so we may or may not get another door to put there for the run but um, we'll see how this one works before we do that but there we have it it works just fine yeah it works we have a new automatic chicken door so now our chickens will be let out a little sooner than we get up because I'm gonna set it to sunrise and then we're gonna set it to sunset. Our chickens usually go to bed, um, I don't know, about 30 to 45 minutes before the sun actually goes down. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of time to get in there and then close it. That way they can get used to the door. Um, but everything that we used in this video, I'll link in the description below if I can find them for you guys. Uh, I know I can find the door, the, the drill, not the Milwaukee drill that I'm using, but, um, the matrix drill I don't know I bought it for Jay years ago and I bought all the different attachments so I'm not sure if they still have it but I'll look and put it down there just in case you guys happen to like it and 
uh, want to use it yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.